What is up guys, what is up? So today we are doing another review and we are here with my buddy Christian What's and up? his 2006 white TC, Scion TC. Now let me, this is my first time ever driving like a fully cambered out car. You guys know that I had my Miata slammed on the ground, but this thing is done so well. I have to give props to Christian. It is the best looking TC around that, I, uh, that I've ever seen before. Um, and definitely the wheels that he has on it like looks amazing too. But getting into the interior of the car, he has an energy black hub and then he has the neochrome quick release like I do in the Miata. We actually have the same ones. And then he has a grip royal uh, um, steering wheel to go with it. And I didn't know that you could actually like like swap different brands in like with each other. I didn't yeah. know you could do that. Yeah. And then he also has the Crown Royal shift beat. So slowly but surely, our guys up in uh, up in Michigan, <laughs> yes. like they, they do the same thing, and I love it. Like it looks so cool. Like you have like the is this the like the black bag? Yeah, it's the black one. It okay. was gonna be the purple one, but you know, I just decided yeah. to do black just to tie everything in here. So. And then to go with like the the shift beat, you have the Blocks Racing um, shift shift knob. So it looks like super good. Oh yeah. Um, but uh, and then I think my favorite thing that you have in the car is your trunk. It's the Bambi oh, custom yeah. trunk that you built. Like you work at four and a core here. Yeah. It's not clutch. <laughs> <laughs> it's the stage one exactly clutch that I have in my Subaru too, so but Yeah, that was that was a little thing I just decided to do. It just looks better in the trunk rather than just having a piece of carpet in there. So Yeah, I mean I dude, it looks so good and you build it yourself. So yeah. That's the cool it's thing. My parents' garage, so yeah. And I feel like everyone you you said like everyone says that you should have uh, you should go with bags. Yeah. Like you have the custom trunk already, so Getting into the outside of the car, the exterior, you have like the front, the, the, the lip is painted in the front. Yep. And you did say that you had to like like replace it once because you got hit by a deer and then also a tire kind of hit it. Right? Yep. <laughs> a lot of things happen when you're a little low. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and then you do have the Neo Chrome quick release front bumpers. Yeah. The quick uh, release guys. And then you do have, I think it's super cool that you have like the antenna off like a, um, the element right there. Yeah, I was going to get a, the S2000 one because that's what a lot of Scion people were doing because yeah. it's a little short antenna. Yeah, but um, short antenna. But I went to Honda and the guy was like, you know, the, the element one looks exactly the same. It's yeah. about 15 bucks cheaper. I was like, why not? And yeah. it fits. So it looks good. So. Okay. And then you do have the carbon fiber, like little um, exhaust heat shield. Heat shield, shield yeah. And it just looks so well that you said that <laughs> they don't make them anymore and no. everyone just asks you about like... <laughs> yeah, they make them for other cars, but not, not anymore for the TC, so... Yeah, heck yeah. Um, I just haven't found anybody who does make them anymore. Heck so. Yeah, heck yeah. Um, getting into like what is done with the motor and everything, uh, like you don't have too much done. It's just like a, a engine like ram intake, right? Yep. And then you have also, you have like the exhaust, the... Megan uh, Racing. Yeah. Yeah. It just, sounds amazing. It's a cat back, right? Yeah. And like, it kind of sounds like my Subaru. <laughs> it has that deep rumble. Yeah, that's what I like about it, so. Now you're running on BC coilovers, yep. like one of the best coilovers that you can buy around. Yeah, they're they're great. Um, so. But and then you're running on the 28k so springs. You said that you had to like switch them out just yeah. like you were rubbing before. So. Yeah, with how wide the wheels were and how low I wanted to go, yeah, okay. the, uh, the other springs weren't weren't able to do that. So yeah. and then swap you, them out for five inch. Actually, uh, yeah, five inch springs in the back and six inch springs in the front. And they're 28k all around. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the progress rear things. sway bar in the back. Yeah. Um, and then you got the just some Godspeed rear camber arms and a Foreman function uh, front sway bar end links. Yeah. And to go with the camber, you have the CCW, like uh, the CCW wheels. Classics. Like, they're so nice. <laughs> and you said that you do have negative uh, six offset in the front. Neg negative six, uh, or negative two offset in the front, six offset in the so, back. Okay, that's right. um, negative that's right. six camber all the way around. Okay, okay. And you have the four inch lips too. Yeah, yeah, four inch lips all around. And the car rides so well on BC coilovers. <laughs> so, I mean, some people think it's bouncy, but you know, I think for, for as low as it is, it rides pretty it decent. Rides so, pretty nice. The car is super low altogether, but it rides so nice. So, everything that you have done to the car, what is your favorite thing that you've done to the car? Uh, favorite thing, I'd say the coilovers or the wheels. Okay. Um, but that exhaust sounds good too, though. So, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe probably the wheels at this point right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now you did say, like we were talking before, uh, that you are gonna, your next step is like different wheels? Yeah, I'm gonna change it up just a little bit. It's my daily, so it's a little, yeah. uh, it's a little, 
it's not too dailyable at this point. <laughs> we got it too far into it, so uh, I'm just have to just get a little bit, probably a meteor stance set up. Um, just a little thicker tires. Yeah. Because um, right now you're on like 215 40s. 215 40s on a 10 wide and 10 and a half wide. Yeah. So it's a little bit stretched. A little bit stretched. And you did say like uh, a couple of days ago you actually debuted your tire. Right? Yeah, <laughs> I did on the way home from school. It was, uh, yeah. It's crazy. Now, do you have any? future like you might sell the car or your next car I think you told me a little bit like I've been thinking about you know Subarus or yeah. uh, maybe a 135i something okay. like that um, but at this point since I'm getting wheels for it I'm just gonna keep it in daily it for a little longer okay um, dude it's a great daily you yeah know, it's a great daily it since 2010, right? 2010 yes seven years it's like, uh, seven years in January it was okay so yeah, I got it when I was 15 Right yes. before I turned 16, that way I could learn to drive a stick before I had to drive to school every day. And yeah. So yeah, it's been, a, it's been hard to get rid of it. Dude, I know. Like it's so hard for you to get rid of like either to think about getting rid of the Subaru yeah. or like the Miata. Just cause like, for instance, like the Miata, like you built this and I built the Miata. So. Yeah. You, know, you put so much work into it, then you don't want to get rid of it. So yeah. But now, like going back to the clutch, you have the Xeni Stage One clutch, oh, yeah. and I have the same exact clutch on my Subaru. It feels the same, and it feels exactly the same. But I have to say, like I don't know if you guys, like the Subaru owners out there, know that if you replace the clutch with an aftermarket clutch, like it just sucks. <laughs> like it starts creaking and all that. But I do have to say, the one in the Scion right now, we have the same exact clutch, and it is so smooth. I have about about uh, fifty thousand miles on that clutch. Really? Yeah. Dang. So I only have 20 on mine and it just... It's dude, still going strong. It, so. it sucks so bad. So <laughs> it's absolutely horrible. Yours is? Dude, my Xeni Stage 1 clutch is absolutely horrible. I would definitely, if you own a Subaru, never get this Xeni Stage 1 clutch. <laughs> but if you own a Scion, definitely get it because it feels so nice. <laughs> All around, you got to have the stickers on the car too because those stickers, add 50 man. horsepower. A piece. I know. Exactly. So. <laughs> so his sticker game is unreal on this car. It looks <laughs> super clean. And then, as I said before, it was a 2010, or sorry, 2006, and the car looks brand new. Like how well you keep up with yeah, it. Yeah, it used to be garaged, and I would you know wash it and keep it waxed, like you know wax once yeah. or twice a month. And but now you know sits outside, <laughs> it's been daily. So yeah, I so, I've had <laughs> random people. Is this car fat? No, it's not fast. It's, it's a good daily, but it's not fast. Yeah. <laughs> now, did you feel any like extra horsepower with like adding the ram intake in? Or not really. Sauce. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, Sounds really good. You can say you might feel like you do. It might be a better response, but I don't. I think unless you get it, you know, tuned, I don't think you're gonna feel too much out of it. It yeah. sounds a lot better, and you know, the sound of the intake sounds pretty good. But yeah. I don't think I felt too much out of it. It might have been like a two or three horsepower gain, okay. maybe. But okay, that's awesome. Mainly about sound. <laughs> yeah. Well, heck yeah, guys. If you guys like Christian's TC, definitely follow him. We'll put his Instagram right here because it is definitely the cleanest like I said before TC around that I've seen and then for all those guys out there that like love TC's comment below if you like this uh, if you like his car because I mean he's done everything right to it that I have to say so anyways GPG if you guys like more reviews definitely comment below too but anyways guys have an amazing day and peace out see you guys in the next see one ya.